Apparently the Jazz have a couple of different problems to deal with after the game one loss. One, of course, is the Memphis Grizzlies. The other is Donovan Mitchell's reaction to being told he could not play in game one after thinking that he could. He sent this out. So, Zeke, uh, how much changes for the Jazz in game two with Mitchell now cleared to play, and that has happened officially. Um, how much changes in, in terms of availability and maybe the uncertainty of his return as well? Well, it, it, it changes if he can play. You know, it, it, it changes their whole outlook in terms of confidence because it, it gives them another playmaker, not only a playmaker, but an explosive score also. So when you have Mitchell out on the floor, then you can have Conley out on the floor. Um, you know, you, you got guys that can put it on the floor, make plays for other, and make it easier for them to take those three-point shots that they like to take, that they're, that they're known for this season. They get a high volume of open three-point shots. They got great three-point shooters. But in order to get those shots, you got to have people who can put it on the floor, break the defense down, get to the middle, and Conley and Mitchell can do that. So Mitchell coming back gives them that explosiveness. Had to love also how aggressive Memphis was, particularly going right at Rudy Gobert, basically from the opening possession. Yeah, they, they took the ball to the paint. Brooks went crazy in the third quarter. John Moran finishes them off. But I'm, I'm with Zeke. I think that everything changes if Donovan Mitchell comes back and, and just because he, he's going to be able to collapse the paint and get better shots for them. But the Grizzlies were just not afraid. I mean, a 1-8, normally the team goes in there a little bit on their heels. The Grizzlies came in firing away, and that's what that play-in kind of, that, the play-in games, having two games like that, they came in full of confidence. And then they, all of a sudden, they, the other thing, that was the oddest thing ever when, like, Donovan Mitchell says, I guess I can't play. Right. I remember one time the trainer said I wasn't going to play. I said, are you going to grab me? <laughs> what are you going to do? And I was like, I'm playing. He goes, no, you're not. I said, like, hell, I'm not. I said, take my ankle. And, and I went out and played. I, I never heard of anybody telling you you can't play. That's your decision. That was really mm -hmm. an odd thing for me, but the whole reaction to him playing or not playing. But him coming back really makes Utah, you know, the full team. They just, they just are not the same team without Mitchell. But I just think right now they got Tiger by the tail because Velichunas has had, has had a couple of playoff games that's just been phenomenal. Brooks is on fire. Mm -hmm. John Morant's feeling confident. I mean, they have so many guys on their team right now playing at a really high level. It'll be really interesting to see if Utah can kind of defuse that and throw some water on that fire because they're they're going. It's a different era than when you played, Kevin. Yes, I, I, know, I know that it is. with regards to uh, the players and, and largely. Uh, for good measure, as far as protecting the players from themselves occasionally. Nah, nah. But, 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 but nah, nah. Why well, don't you know if you can play? I tell you, Zeke, that's Zeke. Right. That's who right. knew if you can play beside you? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, <laughs> then, right, fair and, then, and then there are levels of like, okay, I may not be 100%, and I may not be able to play at 100%, percent, but I can help My you team. win exactly. the game. Which we saw with Chris Paul. Yes. yes.